chalk is a useful tool that we can take with us to the climbing wall to manage moisture and grease on our hands. Chalk has been used by gymnasts for a long time for its grip saving effects. And since been introduced into climbing, it's been used extensively and almost ritualistically ever since. Chalk works by absorbing the moisture and grease on your hands, leaving them immediately very dry. Dry skin has more friction than moist skin. So chalk doesn't actually add any grip, it just takes away the moisture which reduces our grip. There are some lucky people who don't need to use chalk. The hands just don't sweat very much. So if you don't need it, don't feel like you have to use it. Normally, you'd apply a little bit of chalk before you start a climb, ensuring that you've got a fine layer with no clumpy excess. If you need to, you can take a chalk bag up with you so you can apply more chalk during your climb. Chalk comes in three different forms. Chalk balls are the easiest and tidiest to use and are most preferred for indoor use. Liquid chalk is messless, lasts a little bit longer on your hands, but it's quite expensive. Now loose chalk is the devil. It's fast and effective, but it's wasteful and really messy. So try and avoid using it indoors. If a hold has too much chalk on it, it actually reduces the friction, especially if the hold is a sloper. If this is the case, you may need to brush it before using it. Now a quick warning, chalk is addictive and habit forming. Look around the bouldering wall and you'll see people chalking up for no reason. Don't be like these people. Chalk dust is not great to breathe in and it requires a monumental amount of hoovering, so use sparingly. There are many different types and brands of chalk and there's not too much difference between them. So if you're looking to buy some chalk, we've got plenty in store here at the boardroom. Now if you haven't already, check out our other instructional videos. The more you know, the better you climb.